Hi, my name is Kirsten Mulrennan. I'm an archivist and I want to talk to you today about the Special Collections and Archives Department at the Glucksman Library at the University of Limerick. We all know how central the library is to university life, but you may not know much about the research potential of the collections tucked away in Special Collections and Archives. The material we hold is what's called unique and distinctive collections. We have over 2,000 archival boxes and 40,000 printed works. The oldest item in our care dates from 400 AD. That's over 2,000 years of history stored in the Glucksman Library. This can be made up of limited, rare, or first editions of books or unpublished um, original material that can't be found anywhere else. And it's this original primary source material that I want to talk to you about today. So because we're removed from the main library collection, the archive can seem mysterious to students. You may be unsure of who we are, what we do, what we hold and how you can access us. Um, or even if you need special permission to come into us. And what we want to do is to bring the specialised services that we offer to a wider audience. So first off, what is an archivist? An archivist collects, manages and provides access to primary sources. Archive collections come to us from a variety of different sources and these can be the papers of local families and estates, the records of local businesses, um, political parties and societies, the personal papers of authors and poets, the list goes on. These previously unseen collections can incorporate anything from medieval manuscripts and maps to 19th, 19th century letters and photographs, uh, to VHS tapes from the 1980s and everything in between. We start by investigating the context of the collection so that we can better understand who created these records and why, and what they add to the narrative we already know about a particular event, period or person. And if we're very lucky, they may tell us something entirely new about the past. We then arrange and describe the material to make it easily findable. We store them in special storerooms called strong rooms, which are light, temperature and humidity controlled environments so that we can carefully preserve them for future generations. And this is why you can't borrow material from special collections and archives like you can from the rest of the library, but don't let that put you off. Ultimately, it's our job, as I'm doing today, to tell the wider world about the amazing resources that we have so that everybody can access and appreciate them, whether you're looking at a small selection of material as part of a physical or online exhibition, or if you're doing a more in-depth study as part of coursework or in preparation for publication. So how did I become an archivist? Um, I'm a proud UL graduate. After I completed my BA in English and History here, I went on to study to be an archivist. I was awarded Ireland's first archives PhD and I went on to work in a number of different archival services. As a UL undergraduate, I was fortunate enough to have access to the primary material in special collections and archives. This interaction with primary source material actually holding something hundreds of years old and investigating its context really captured my imagination and inspired my future career and I'm glad to say that that novelty has never worn off. I'm delighted to have returned to UL now as archivist and I'm passionate that current UL students have a similar experience of the department to mine. So one of the biggest things that we can do to raise awareness about the department is to embed our collections on the curriculum and to make accessing special collections and archives a more ordinary experience. Our blog outlines the broad range of archival and print collections that we hold, as well as the broad range of the uh, research topics that they cover. And this is everything from architecture and dance, to, from literature to military history, from science to religion. We teach classes and host workshops for undergraduates and postgraduates from a variety of disciplines and we encourage researchers both from UL and further afield to use our research collections in their thesis and other research projects. A lot of the feedback we get from our users is that accessing one of our primary sources has really given their project something extra, you know, something different that isn't found in the history books. And while they may have been initially unsure as to how to use the department, um, they really wish that they had known about us sooner. The faculty that we work with also love the workshops we provide and these range from uh, general show and tell inductions to the department to more specific showcases of the material we hold on particular topics for faculty such as English and history, um, architecture and ethnochoreology. And then we offer broader theoretical classes on archival theory and research ethics. So all of this is what makes us special and this is what we want to share with the UL community and the wider world. So while we may need special storerooms and special handling procedures to carefully preserve our valuable historic material, our archives and rare books are for everyone to discover anew. And you don't have to be a senior academic to come and consult and enjoy the items in our collections. So if you're interested in finding out more about Special Collections and Archives Department at the Glucksman Library at the University of Limerick, you can contact me or visit our blog at specialcollections.ul.ie.